Okay, I've been really bad at taking videos for this project because we are really almost done. And uh, it's going to be kind of hard to recap everything, but I'll try to do my best here. Um, kind of all started with crashing my trailer because one of the hubs uh, dust cover came off and lost all my grease. And Anyway, luckily I didn't trash my boat, and so I've always been threatening to do a tandem axle. And Well, here we are. So it started out with this thin, well it looks thin, it's actually um, on a quarter inch uh, by three inch by 70 inch uh, steel stock and then Dean welded up these hangers, uh, three sets, one on each side, and then we powder coated uh, all of those. Then I had these U-bolts made and got those powder coated and one day I will swap those out with uh, with stainless, uh, stainless steel, uh, but not now. Um, then, let's see, ordered the axles from a place out of Nampa, and they came with the, uh, the mounting hardware here, and of course the springs, the bolts, the equalizer, and all of that. And then just getting it mounted on here was just a lot of work, a lot of figuring out like where these uh, uh, holes for those bolts will go and then there's the corresponding u-bolt right there that's on the back side of this i-beam flange and lining up those really accurately because it's harder to cut the harder to move those holes once they're cut uh, in the steel so we just finished up mounting the axles of course measuring very carefully from the front of the trailer to the front point here and of of the front hanger where that bolt is on both sides making sure that's exactly the same and then we just made sure that the the axles are uh, positioned uh, perfectly uh, you know laterally so there's the same distance between the side of the frame of the tire uh, and the tire on both sides and then we did corner to corner measurements from this spot on this axle to the same spot on the front axle on the other side and then from that corner to this corner and they are perfectly square within a sixteenth of an inch. So we're gonna call that good for a trailer. So tomorrow we buy, uh, buy some tires and some wheels, pack the hubs, or I should say pack the uh, bearings, put the hubs on. There's a, a castle nut inside of each of these protective sleeves that will come off. And so tomorrow we'll have wheels on the ground and, uh, and then see how it, how it does. Up here in the front, uh, got a new, much stronger tongue jack and a new uh, winch. And then once the uh, once the axles are are down with the tires and everything, we're going to take a weight for the tongue. And if the tongue weight isn't strong enough, then I will unbolt this front winch mount post and move it forward a bit and then winch the boat forward on the trailer and then the boat will make up for the imbalance and uh yeah so next video there should be some uh wheels going on